I'm Joe Puste, a Program Director for IBM Cognos Mid-Market Products. Welcome to Module 3 of the Introduction to IBM Cognos Express 9.0. In this module, we're going to talk a little bit about configuring and administering the IBM Cognos Express environment. Uh, so our, uh, our goals here today um, are to look at the <clears throat> different configuration options within the individual products of Express, Express Reporter, Express Advisor, Express Accelerator, how to add a new data source to uh, the Express uh, Manager environment, as well as how to add and configure a new user to the Express Manager environment. So we're going to switch over to our Express Manager console. And um, uh, in a previous module, we, in module two, we looked at uh, how to install these various products. As you can see here now, uh, they've all been installed. They are all running. They all have a, a nice check mark uh, next to them to indicate that, indicate, indicate that they are up and running. Um, and because they're installed, uh, I can do a number of different things. The manager itself, as you know, is sort of the, the, the foundational piece of Cognos Express. Um, and the three products themselves, Advisor, Report, Accelerator, all have slightly different configuration options. We'll go in order here. Uh, Advisor is installed, uh, therefore I can uninstall it. Logically enough, uh, I can stop the Advisor service. So each of these products has some server component that gets installed or initialized, and as well as a client component uh, that is made available that goes with that product. Um, and on that note, um, I could make that thick client or that client piece, in this case with, with advisor, the, the client piece is called date advisor. Uh, if I choose to, I can simply click on that, uh, in which case um, you can um, disable the, uh, the uh, availability of that client. So uh, if I want to make it available or unavailable, again, this is contingent on, um, on end user rights. So as you can see here, it's, it's changing that configuration slightly. And at a, at a later point, I'll show you where that actually manifests itself in the user environment. Uh, configure, there is a configuration option. Um, if there are cubes, uh, these are all based on TM1 technology. Uh, advisor, both advisor and accelerator, uh, leverage the TM1 technology. If some TM1 cubes are in fact already defined, uh, in this, in this uh, panel I can uh, indicate whether I want to preload the data in the cubes to optimize the, uh, the performance and response time of the advisor environment. Um, but in, in this case, it's a brand new installation, therefore I have no cubes uh, yet. Reporter, very similar. I can uninstall it, restart, or stop the service. Um, Framework Manager is the client piece uh, of, um, of Reporter. Uh, again, very similar to Advisor. I can disable that or enable that. Uh, and in this case, the configuration options for Reporter uh, are basically a measure very similar to that load again, uh, uh, an advisor is uh, uh, a mechanism to uh, optimize the performance. As you can read there, uh, you should move the slider uh, down uh, if users run complex reports typically and, and keep it uh, towards the right if users typically run simpler reports. Okay, so this is not an exact science and uh, that's what the uh, slider is all about. It's up to you to kind of tweak that as, uh, as you see fit. An accelerator is the, uh, the third and final component. Again, accelerator client is the thick client. I can uninstall, stop, and restart. And in this case, the accelerator server itself does not have any configuration options. So those are the product by product configuration uh, options and administrative options. Uh, let's go uh, into a bit more detail here. Uh, I'm going to start with users. Okay, so um, I have already defined the uh, user. Uh, or the system has actually basically done that for me when I installed uh, Express and now it's a simple matter uh, to come in here and add a brand new user. I'm going to add myself and my given name is Joe and my surname is Puste and um, I am at us.ibm.com. I can assign myself a password, initial password, which users can then change. Uh, as you can see there, I can force them to do that, as well as now uh, apply whatever groups um, I think I should be part of. So if I'm a, a, an advisor user, I'll need the data advisor potentially. If I'm accelerator user, I, I potentially need access to that client. And basically at that point, I could just click OK and uh, that user, user is defined. And in the event manager here, I can see that um, 
I can see with them first of all the membership, uh, the groups that I belong to, this new user that I created, as well as the fact that a user was created, uh, which is great for auditing purposes and so forth. Um, we talked about Framework Manager briefly as part of the reporter um, environment to create data models, but we have also provided a, a, a very simple way to quickly get started and report on data sources. So what I'm going to do now uh, is point to a data source on my machine called Northwinds, which is a demo database that comes with the SQL Server uh, technology from Microsoft, and I can simply pick the right drivers that I choose or I would like to. Um, and give it a name. Uh, the server name, in fact, is uh, my machine host name, which is what you would put here. Uh, the database name is Northwind, and the uh, typical credentials there is uh, SASA for the default administrator user in Microsoft. So watch closely what happens here. Uh, the data source is being added. I can make it do that in the background. What it's doing though is going into the relational database, interrogating the schema, and creating a default package which I can use later uh, to write reports against. Okay, so I'll just click that and make that go away and, and let it finish in the background. Uh, once it's done though, you will see that the uh, that administrator data source, there it is, it shows up right now. Uh, it's been created and now it's available for reporting. So that basically brings us to the end of Module 3, which, um, which is our, where our goals were to show you those product configuration options, how to add a new data source, and how to add a, a new user. Um, and basically, uh, module, the subsequent modules in this series will talk about Express Reporter, Express Accelerator, and Express Advisor in a bit more detail. Thank you.